the core is one, and I can behold the tide. Hey everyone and welcome. In this video we're going to be having a look at the government and the new Decepticon variant. As the government have come out and said, Sajid Javid and others, that the Omicron variant has spread in the community. And that's been confirmed by Sajid Javid, the health secretary. So I thought we'd have a listen to Sir Desmond Swain on Julia Hartley Brewer's show. As he said that the restrictions are going too far and have gone too far amid early reports the new Decepticon variant is milder. These crazed scientists believe their socialist wet dream is about to come true and they can tr control our lives again. So let's have a quick listen to this, shall we? Should we even be considering any restrictions at all? No, we've already gone far too far. I mean, I asked the Secretary of State yesterday how many of the 360-odd um, people who had uh, tested positive were actually ill. And he hummed and hard a bit, but I think the answer he was stabbing at and trying to avoid was none, none. Now, if you're wondering what question he's on about there, we'll have a quick listen to this. This is him asking the question in Parliament. Out of all of the positive res positive tests for Decepticon, how many people are actually ill? Let's have a listen to what they said. Sir Desmond Sway. How many of those who have tested positive in the UK are ill? Secretary of State. The the number of uh, confirmed cases in in the UK is 336. Uh, they are all, by definition, infected. They will have been various. Uh, some some uh, may be asymptomatic. Others uh, will be feeling ill. Uh, none of them, so far, as far my uh, as far as I am aware, have been hospitalised. Uh, none of them, so far, as far my uh, as far as I am aware, have been hospitalised. Now, if that answer wasn't to evade actually answering, I don't know what it was. Now, my opinion, in my opinion, this is my only opinion, I think we should stop getting tested. It seems to be that they're going to be locking us down again for something that appears to be much less virulent than a common cold. Am I wrong on that? If no one's getting ill from 300 and odd people, not even reporting any illness whatsoever, that tells me that this Decepticon is not as powerful as they think. And why then would we be going into restrictions? Answer that. <laughs> I'd like to know your opinion though. Let me know what you think on this one. Do you think that Sir Desmond Swain's right? I think he's hit the nail on the head, aren't he? If no one's getting ill, why are we so scared of it? Just a thought. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell icon, share it out, stay sane. See you on the next one.